37 verse 3. Ezekiel 37 3 as the most profound answer in the Bible. This is an answer that the Lord is asking Ezekiel, keeping him in front of the valley of dry bones. And the Lord asked him, together we read, He said to me, Mortal, can these bones live? Mortal, can these bones live? Prophet Ezekiel is standing in front of the valley of dry bones. Dry bones means the bones that has no life, no flesh, no spirit. Dry bones. And the Lord asked him a question. Can these bones live? The prophet answered, O oh Lord God, you know. Repeat that answer, O oh Lord God, you know. O oh Lord God, you know. Three times. Why this is the most profound answer? The pastor goes like this. Because it's a dry bone. Today, when God is bringing your husband in front of you, with whom you lived more than 30 years, you know he's more dry than a dry bone. Never go to church, never pray. When you pray, he sleeps. He does not want you to go to church. The Lord is bringing your husband in front of you. And the Lord is asking that same question God asked Ezekiel the prophet. Can your husband change? What will be your answer? That is the answer of prophet Ezekiel. What will be your answer? Lord, it's 30 years I live. He is more hard than a rock. Sisters and brothers, this is a most profound answer because prophet believed. And as we continue to read that he breathed into these bones, Holy Spirit, and they came up, they stood up like an army. As the scripture goes on, they say these bones are the symbols of the people of Israel who say we have lost all hope. There is no way forward. There is no change. Maybe your son is into drug addiction, into pornography, into alcohol, into wrong things, into wrong conviction. Maybe he's changed his gender. He's thinking of doing something very different. Maybe he's thinking he's not going to get married. They are speaking about so many things that you cannot even imagine. The Lord is asking you a question. Do you believe that Holy Spirit can change your son, change your husband, change your family? Yes or no? Yes. Psalm 104 verse 30. Psalm 104 verse 30. The scripture says, Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. When you send forth your spirit together, louder we pray. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the ground. Imagine when the Holy Spirit come, there will be a new creation. And you, he will renew the face of the earth. 